All right, so many of you are probably starting this assignment. And the first part of the assignment, you just have to deal with, with text, right? You just have to break these up into the columns. Column one, column two, column three. But in the second part, of, excuse me, the, the first two parts, and you're just dealing with, with the text. The third part, you have to take this, this uh, row and you need to convert it to binary. And I'm sure some of you are thinking to yourself, well, wait a second. Isn't everything binary? I mean, don't, don't computers work on ones and zeros? And you're correct, they do. Uh, but uh, there are a lot of uh, text files. And text files use a specific format, right? They, they encode this one not as the binary digit one, but they encode it as the character one. And if you remember, if you go to your ASCII chart, Let's see what I do with my ASCII chart. Here it is. So if you, if you go to your ASCII chart, you can look up the number 1, and you can see it has the hex value 31. Now, a hex value of 31 is a byte. That takes up a byte. Um, each, each hex digit takes up 8 bits. So you're like, well, wait a second. What does that look like in binary? So let's take a look. Let's go to our calculator. We'll put in the hex number 31 and you can see right down here it's giving you the binary form and that's each one of those is bits 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 bits one byte so that's taking up a byte um, now in Java uh, the Unicode character takes up two bytes but ASCII characters can take up a single byte uh, so let's take a look at what that looks like. So here it is. You know, here's the the text form of that, the human readable form that is being displayed in this text editor inside Eclipse. But let's take a look at uh, a hex editor over here at that same file. And we can see what's really being stored is in fact that 31. And you can see here as I highlight the 31 it highlights the character that corresponds to it. And then 7C is that break between the columns and then I have a whole bunch of 1111's and then I have an A you know, first I have the break and then the A so this is actually how it's stored and that 31 is what we showed over here in binary so that's what's being stored out on the hard disk and you're like okay great you know so who cares which form it's stored in and that's a, that's a valid question so for now it would take me one byte to store the character one, right? And if I were to do something like convert that to a binary uh, number, a binary uh, integer, um, how big are ints? How big are Java ints? Do you remember? Four bytes. So let's say it's it's four bytes, these four right here. And remember that each one of these hex digits, this is a hex editor, each one of these hex digits is going to be um, a, 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 a nibble or half a byte. So, so each one of these is a byte is a byte. So this is um, this is going to take up four bytes. So you're saying, well, wait a second. This is a single byte. This is four bytes. Why would I possibly want to want to save it that way? Seems like I'm, I'm losing ground. And, and in this case, you're right. However, remember that if we look back at our Eclipse editor, that eventually we're going to get to 2 and then to 3. So now it's 3 bytes. And now eventually, once we get to 9999, nine, 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 it's 4 bytes. Let me get here. It's 4 bytes. Right. So. It could be that you, you could be better off saving this as, as character data and converting it. Um, up to you. But remember that if this were a large file, it would go to 10,000. So quickly, it would become problematic to store that as, um, as text. It, eventually, the... the uh, 
this form is, is going to take much more, right? And let's take a look. I mean, we can see that. For instance, um, right here, we have this guy, right? So what if we were to store that as an int instead of as character data? So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 bytes. If I stored it as an int and I was smart about it, um, then um, it's only going to take 4 bytes. So I just saved 4 bytes. What about this date down here? What if I save that as an int? So that's going to be 4 bytes right there, and I'm going to save all of that space. Now I have to be smart about it. I have to figure out how I want to convert that, right? I have to come up with a plan to turn this into something 1996-0102 into an int. But I might be able to do that. Now here, we look at this, 5 low. Um, you know, I might be able to save that as, as a short, right? Something small or char. Um, and then cut off this low. So it turns out 5 is always low. Uh, what about clerk, right? Clerk, this is always, this is a preface to every single clerk on there. There is no reason to store that over and over again. That's repeated data. As long as it's always going to be the same, I can cut it off, and then when I go to print it out, I can put it back. All right. So, so the basic idea is to figure out how to take these different text, currently text forms, and turn them into something that's going to be smaller in the binary form. So that's the basic idea of this assignment. Uh, we also want to look at uh, buffered and unbuffered, which I won't talk about in this video. Uh, all right, uh, that's it for this video. I will see you later.